So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the sky in this photo with the sky with this sky from another photo. So once you have the photo that you want to use, go ahead and choose layers and add photo layer. Double click. And that's the sky that I want to use. The first thing we have to do is go to our background photo and we need to duplicate this. So what I did was I right clicked and I did duplicate layer. So this is our duplicate. Let's go ahead and turn this one off, the main one. And you'll notice that it's locked which means that we cannot move it around. If I try to put it up here at the very top, it won't allow me. And that's exactly what we need to do. We need to take this layer and put it on top. So let's do that. Let's take our duplicate and put it on top. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to use this tool, the Select Area tool, and the Magic Wand selection tool and we're going to remove this sky to reveal the sky in the layer below. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've got my tolerance set at 18. So let's see if that will just grab the sky only. It doesn't completely grab it and that's why it's sort of hashed out here. So you'll need to go over it a couple of times for it to choose the sky completely. So just keep clicking until it's chosen everything that you want. And that looks good. And then go up here and choose Delete Selection. And there's our sky from the layer below. And then just go ahead and clear the selection. And that looks good. The only thing I want to do is change the contrast and add some vibrancy to the sky, to the new sky. So go on that layer and click Adjust Layer. And down here there's a button Preview with All Layers. Click on that. Hmm and then click Contrast and Vibrance. Play around with it. See how much vibrancy you want to add. That looks good. Let's click OK. And that looks good. I like this. So we can go ahead and merge these layers if we wanted to. So we can click Merge Visible. So it's just going to merge these two that have the, the eye selected. It's not going to merge this background layer, which is fine. We don't need it. So merge visible. And then we can go ahead and we can either export it or uh, save, save selected photo as, however you like to have your photos saved. So that's it. I hope you like this video.